Hello, <coughs> hello, and welcome to the True Crime Lounge. If you, my name is Breezy. This is where we talk various forms of crime. <laughs> All right. If you want to help, I do have a Patreon that you can go and check out. I also have a merch shop that you can go and buy some things from as well. You don't have to, but I'm just saying that's an option. You can also find me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Now. We have all that out of the way. Why don't we dive into today's episode, shall we? So, can you believe this is our last episode in this ser- mini-series? Oh my goodness, it's crazy. Um, but yeah, um, hopefully when by the time this episode comes out, I will be on break from school. So I will be able to do actually more um, recorded episodes instead of pre-recorded. But as of right now... I'm trying to get as much as I can in so I can focus on school and and work, so bear with me, guys, <laughs> okay. With that being said, on our last episode of this mini-series, we're going to focus on the Cook Brothers. So, this one wasn't really in the state of Tennessee, but this one now, we're moving to Ohio. And I'm not going to support... Anyway, Anthony and Nathaniel Cook are brothers who carried out a deadly killing spree in the area surrounding Toledo, Ohio, for about 17 months in 1980 and 1981. In 1973, Anthony Cook committed his first murder while he raped and killed a 22-year-old woman named Vicki Smalls. From the crime, Anthony went to, went to prison on an unrelated burglary charge until 1979 and... After getting out of jail, he joined his brother Nathaniel and the two embarked on a murder spree. In the early 1980s, both Anthony and Nathaniel were employed as truck drivers and spent time traveling between states. In January 1981, the brothers raped and killed a hitchhiker by the name of Connie Sue Thompson. And in February, they tortured and killed a 12-year-old girl named Dawn Bex. Bax was kidnapped on her way to home from school, and she was murdered in the basement of a local theater. In September 1981, Anthony Cook attacked a couple named Todd Sobo and Leslie Swawicki. During the confrontation, Leslie phone had phoned her father, and Peter, who arrived, and he shot him dead. And he shot he was shot dead by Anthony Cook. Anthony was arrested. For the murder of Swahiki, Swahiki, and given a 15 year sen- years to prison. In 1998, 17 years after Cook was arrested, DNA evidence linked the Cook brothers to a series of crimes and murder across the U.S. Nathaniel was finally arrested, and the brothers admitted to taking part in the murder of nine people. Crazy, right? Like, ugh. But anyway. All of the victims were strangled, shot, bludgeoned to death with objects such as a baseball bat or concrete blocks. Anthony Cook was implicated on all nine murders, while Nathaniel only admitted taking part in three. In return for his confession, Nathaniel pled guilty in two counts of kidnapping, one count of attempted murder, and he was released from prison in 2018. Anthony Cook received an additional 15 years to life in jail for the killing of Thomas Gordon. Anthony and Nathaniel Cook are serial killers and rapists. Both brothers were long haul truck drivers. And their methodology really is shooting, beating with a baseball bat and a concrete block. Anthony Cook, at times, aided by his brother Nathaniel, embarked on a murder spree in that in the Toledo area and killed about nine people. Until his arrest in nineteen eighty one for murder. If it was not honestly for DNA, then that had been reserved for 20 years, they probably would still never get caught for those crimes. That's the crazy part right there. But the best, probably like, it's best to say um, that this probably began September 18th, 1981, when Anthony Cook assaulted Todd and Leslie. Completely out of the blue, while the pair sat in a van in an apartment complex, the parking lot. <sighs> while well, so, for Anthony Cook, Swahiki, Swawiki, 
escaped, called her dad, and also her father, called her dad. Unfortunately, when her dad arrived, Anthony would shoot him. So, Sobo was shot in the neck and shoulder, but survived. Anthony Cook was arrested for the murder and uh, sentenced to 15 years in prison. Um, and he's been locked up really ever since. He probably has gotten into more trouble in jail than he did out of jail. Which sometimes is how it really goes. Um, but anyway. But. Having long been suspected, Nathaniel may be responsible for other homicides. The authorities in 1997 decided to compare the brother's DNA to some of the past crimes. They soon found the match with the brother's murder of Tom Gordon in the rape and attempted murder of Gordon's girlfriend on May 14, 1980. The Cook brothers confronted the couple while the siblings were in the car and forced them into the back seat, driving them to a secluded area shooting Gordon dead. The girl was raped by both brothers and stabbed repeatedly with an ice pick. So, she was left for dead, but did survive the horrible ordeal. Um, anyway, arrested for the murder of Gordon and his crimes against the unnamed girlfriend under the close scrutiny and many slayings um, in the attack, the murderous siblings decided to cut a deal. Anthony Cook agreed to another term of 15 years into life for the murder of Gordon while Daniel only received 20 to 25 years in prison for attempted murder of the girlfriend and the brothers confessed to a startling string of killings and attempted over an eight year period from 1973 through 1981. Yeah, that's crazy right there. So the spree began with Anthony Cook working as a solo act. And on December 20th, 1973, 22-year-old Vicki Smalls and some friends had car trouble and Anthony Cook, posing as a helpful citizen, gave her a lift. Because this was a time when you could actually do this to people. But it's sad now. You can't do that to people in general. She was found. She was found raped and shot to death later in the day. Soon after Smalls' killing, Anthony Cook went to prison in 1979 on an unrelated robbery conviction, but after his release, he resumed his life of vengeance. Now teamed up with his brother Nathaniel, he picked up a hitchhiker, Connie Thompson, who was 19, on January 17, 1981. Both brothers had raped Thompson until they tied her, tied of her, killed her, and dumped her, and violated her body in culvert. Just 10 days later, they struck again, forcing a young couple into a vacant home where both were shot but survived. Though on January 21st, they adopted Don Box. She was only 12, on her way home from school, and took her to an abandoned building where she was tortured, raped, and plunged in the death of a concrete block. After the back slaying, Anthony Cook went solo again. On March 27, 1981, he shot Scott Moulton, 21, Denise Skoskowski, 22. I'm terrible at names, so please, guys, be gentle with me on those. On August 2nd, he abducted Dale Cole, who was 21, and Stacey Bolonek, who was 21 as well. They were later found in the trunk of Cole's car, beaten to death with a baseball bat. Slokowski and Bolinick had been t sexually assaulted the next month. Anthony Cook had been arrested for Peter Sawaski's murder, and the killing went over, was finally over. So, this led the FBI to check the killer's history. Well, the FBI wanted to know if the brothers would, who admitted to the Toledo killing spree have been involved in any unsolved slayings over outside Ohio. Well, when the agents met with the Lucas County officials, they looked at the information from the investigation and, and the brothers would acknowledge taking part in nice ladies. <sighs> Anthony Cook said he... Yeah. 
But during the hearing, they would give short statements about their brutal attacks on Mr. Gordon and his girlfriend. And everything. <laughs> it's just like... And the Gordon murder was stopped to by police to be the first of the killings. It's like, but why though? Like, why do this? Like, I just don't understand the concept. But, you know me, I love the psychology behind why serial killers do what they do. Could have been bad home life, could have been what? I am curious on that. Anyway, that's it for today's episode and the end of this mini series. I will see y'all next time as we focus on a new mini series. And, y'all have a great day. <laughs>